The role of Tifa in the art world, I think, is uh, very much as a barometer of, uh, of, of the art world and of the art market. It's sort of, in a way, also the first major event of the, of the year, so everybody kind of tends to look at us to see what, uh, what happens here. And the fact that you've got 260 of the world's leading dealers all on the one roof uh, means that you can really then tell. One of the reasons why TAFOF works for its, its dealers, for its participants, is because people sell. You know, it works from a business point of view. This vetting process is the best developed at TAFOF of all the art fairs. And the quality of the people is fantastic. Uh, so you can't have a better group of people in terms of experts. The whole TIFA Fair is really special for me because you know that throughout the year, all the dealers around the world, when they get something really special, they'll keep it back. So I say, well, I'll keep that back for TIFA. And so what you know is that when you come here, you're going to be seeing the best that is available at any one time in the world. One of the highlights of the fair, I, as I've actually been told by and nearly every member of the vetting committee is the Velasquez here. In fact, they say it's the best painting in the fair. This painting is $14 million, and I do believe it's worth every penny of that because Velasquez is so incredibly rare. So I was at a fair in London, and I was on a label accepted by TAFAF. And as president of these vetting committees, I felt a bit proud.